F9 will shut down. Trajectory is looking good. Stage separation. And there on your screen, you can see that we have visual confirmation of main engine cutoff, stage separation, and second engine start one. So on the left hand stage side of your screen, we'll watch the first stage as it begins its return back to Vandenberg Air Force Base. On the right hand side of your screen, you can see the second engine as it begins to carry the three radar sat satellites to sun synchronous orbit. So boost back burn has begun. There you just saw fairing deployment. It's a pretty cool shot of the fairing flying away. And we have about 10 seconds left in the boost back burn. So the shot you see on your left is from inside the interstage. And boost back. Confirmation of boost back shutdown. So in order for stage the first stage to make its way back to landing zone one at Vandenberg Air Force Base, uh, it has to execute a series of three burns. The first, which you just saw, is what we call the boost back burn, and that helps to slow the rocket down and orient it for entry. Shortly after this, um, the grid fins, which you see right there, uh, articulate as they help steer the rocket back to Vandenberg. Uh, those are deployed to help guide the rocket during its descent. Following that, Falcon 9 executes its entry burn, and that slows itself down before hitting the dense part of the atmosphere. The entry burn actually cuts the first stage speed almost in half. So that's what will be coming up next at about the T plus six minute mark. The third and final burn that stage one will execute today is the landing burn. Happens to be everybody's favorite burn. And that takes place just before touchdown as the booster touches down softly on the ground. So if you happen to be in the greater Vandenberg Air Force Base area, um, I recommend that you head outside because y you are very likely in range to experience the sonic boom that comes with re-entry. So at T plus five minutes now, we have confirmation that MVAC power is good. Trajectory is looking good. Despite the foggy view from this morning, everything is looking good. We are 10 seconds till entry burn. Stage one entry burn has started. Confirmation that stage one entry burn has started. So there on the left hand side of your screen, you see the first stage as it's making its way back to landing zone one at Vandenberg Air Force Base with the help of the grid fins as it steers. The view on your right is the same operation that we have going on, just from a different camera. So there you can and see that we have confirmation of stage one down. entry burn shutdown. Stage two on the right hand side there, looking good. Everything is nominal and trajectory is good. 
Stage one FTS is safe. Slowly but surely, you can see the layer of fog reapproaching uh, on the left hand side as we have a view from the top of the first stage rocket looking down the rocket towards the stage engine section. section. You heard the call out for stage one transonic. Landing burn has begun. Due to the fog, we might lose the video as it touches down, but stay tuned. Again, through the fog, but at least a little bit more clearly this time, Falcon 9 has landed at landing zone one back at Vandenberg Air Force Base. So with that good news, we turn back into second stage, our primary mission, stage as it FTS continues to carry the three radar sat constellation satellites to sun synchronous orbit. That's a shot of the MVAC nozzle as it burns Seco. through. And there we had confirmation of second engine cutoff, or SECO. So now we're just going to wait for confirmation of second stage good orbit. GNC confirms good first orbit insertion. All right, we have confirmation that we have a good orbit for second stage. Now, we're about to enter a 40-minute coast phase, so we're going to take a break, but we're leaving you with an animation that shows where we are in the coast phase. We'll be back at about T plus 49 and a half minutes for a second stage relay. Also signal Vandenberg as expected. Also signal Hawthorne as expected.